I'm trying CrossFit for the first time. <laughs> ah! uh, okay. I stick to my standard powerlifting slash bodybuilding type of workouts because that's what I enjoy. That's what works for me. In saying that, I also try to be very open-minded to different kinds of fitness and exercise because I feel like it's important to understand what you like and what you don't like. And also just to challenge yourself a little bit sometimes. But also I've never tried CrossFit before and I am scared. <laughs> Essentially, it's my friend's birthday and he wants us to do a CrossFit class with him. My thing is that I love to do things for my friends and loved ones for their birthdays. So if you ask me to do something on your birthday, I can't say no. This dude asked us to go for a CrossFit class at 6.30 in the morning. If you know me, you know that I do not train in the morning, let alone at 6.30 a.m. So myself, Jovin, and my friend Matt are gonna be doing a class together tomorrow morning. And I'm filming this intro the day before because I will not be alive enough tomorrow morning to film an intro. We're gonna be going to House of Athlete in Marrickville, which is kind of like the inner west of Sydney. I'm not by any means undermining the intensity of CrossFit because I know, I know CrossFit is hard and I might die. It's a different kind of pain compared to other kinds of exercise. So I don't know how to properly mentally prepare myself and physically prepare myself. It is still dark out. How are people awake at this time? Okay, I'm gonna make myself a coffee and have a bit of food, get some energy. Um, I don't usually eat as soon as I wake up, but I don't really have a choice. I don't wanna work out fasted, so hopefully I don't poop in the middle of it. Clearly, Jovan and I don't know how to act with morning workouts because we couldn't tell time and we were a bit late, which means I couldn't film like a proper intro, I couldn't really introduce the workout, I couldn't speak to the trainer, so I'm here with Matt again. We just did a beach workout, but I just thought that since he does CrossFit more often than we do, um, I'd have him explain what we did on Wednesday. Rewind. <laughs> so the, for the strength and skill session, we did a power clean. Every two minutes, we complete three power cleans. For the Matt Kong, we did a 9-15-15 workout, starting with pull-ups, and then single arm kettlebell squat and finish with a swing kettlebell kettlebell swing, swing. Woo. wait i think it was 12 12 reps 9 12 15. was it i think so oh, yes, 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 yes. that's what happened that morning yeah so i think if i'm not wrong generally you guys do a strength session and then like a conditioning session in every workout yeah so that's what we did as well anyway back to the video <laughs>
Thinking about swing. Ooh. So just going on those movement standards. Pull up to the seat, the shoulder, through the squat. Try to be nice and smooth in your action. Try not to twist and tip. Try to stay nice How's your birthday so far? <laughs> How's the workout? With my lovely ones. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm really dying. Jayden, how do you feel? You know what it's Hold like? Hold You can taste iron because there's like blood everywhere. Yeah. It's just going everywhere. That's uh -huh. how I feel right now. <sighs> no more comment? I can't no speak comment. right now. No comment. Phew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was tiring, man. Matt, go. Oh, okay, I'll come with you. Just finished our workout. Uh, safe to say, Jervin and I almost puked, but we did not, so that is a win. What's the verdict? Uh, never again. <laughs> it was fun, it was challenging, and it was an MRAP workout, so it felt a bit competitive as well because everyone was kind of pushing um, for the 15 minutes that we were working out. And we learned how to do a clean properly, kind of, so that was good. I'm still a bit out of breath, that was really hard. And like, I expected it to be hard, like, you always expect something new to be a challenge, but when you actually do it, it's not like it surprised me, but it was definitely like, it met my expectations of being very, very difficult. Shout out to House of Athlete because the people there are really nice and the coaches are really good and it's a nice space. For some reason, I really like gyms that are like just a small box, like grungy, kind of like simple instead of those big commercial gyms, even though generally that's where like bodybuilders would train, I guess. <laughs>
I low-key hate myself because I never film outros. For some reason, it just never occurs to me that I need to like end the video properly. So I just say some random thing and then turn off my camera. And then until I edit, I just assume that I've finished the video. I apologize and I will apologize in advance because I know that this is going to happen again. <sighs> okay, that is so frustrating. If you made it this far, hi. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video and my other content, go ahead and subscribe, leave a comment, like this video as well. And if you don't already, follow me on Instagram if you want to see more fitness content. I'll link my Instagram below and I'll also link House of Athletes Instagram below. They were really accommodating and I really enjoyed this class. So give them a follow if you would like. I'll see you next video. Goodbye. I'ma show you how to get it, it go right foot up, left foot slide, left foot up, right foot slide. Basically I'm saying either way we got to slide, hey, can't let this one slide. Don't you wanna dance with me?